This is Tech Nick, and these are five of the most expensive smartphones in the world that you can purchase right now. But which of them performs best when it comes to battery life? We have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, the latest and greatest from Sony over here with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, Samsung's true flagship with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. The iPhone 11 Pro Max with the smallest battery of the bunch here, 3,969, though quite close to the Sony, 4,510 on the OnePlus, and 4,260 on the Oppo. All of them have been updated to their latest available software. And we have very high resolutions on all devices, the highest pixels per inch being on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with close to a 4K screen. I have dropped the 120 Hertz refresh rate panels of the Samsung OnePlus and Oppo down to 60 Hertz to match that of the iPhone and the Sony. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start over here by checking some battery and CPU temperatures in degrees Celsius at the start of the test. After every single app that we run for 30 minutes, we're gonna check these again so that we can refer them to the previous results as well as compare them across devices when it comes to heat dissipation. We're gonna go ahead and start the test after unplugging all the phones over here. And as you guys may see, there is a lot going on on the screen right now. I have the details of all the phones at the bottom just underneath their branding over there. We have the battery percentages at the top of each phone and above that we have the battery and CPU degrees in Celsius. Top right hand corner is indeed the time interval and the percentage that you see above the phone is in relation to that time interval. So after the 30 minute mark, we have 96% on the Sony, 95 on the Samsung, 96 on the OnePlus, 99 still on the iPhone over there and 95 on the Oppo. So all of them are pretty similar here. iPhones always seem to drain the least when it goes from that 100% mark to I would say 95%. So they can really last quite a while in that first 10% that you do start draining all the way down to that 90% mark as opposed to Android devices, but it should start draining a little bit quicker later on. After that one hour interval, we have 92% on the Sony and on the Samsung and on the OnePlus with the lowest being 91% on the Oppo and 95% being the best on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Just by the way, guys, we do have the current app running at the bottom right hand corner if you missed that a little bit earlier. We're now in Shazam right now and talking about CPUs in degrees Celsius, the Samsung is the coolest and the Oppo is definitely the hottest. In battery, the iPhone is the coolest and the second coolest when it comes to Android, well first for Android is indeed the OnePlus with 34 degrees in Celsius. Hottest battery now goes to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with almost 40 degrees Celsius in battery and 43 degrees Celsius in CPU here. After an hour and 30 minutes though, so 85% on the Sony, pretty good for quite a small 4,000 milliamp hour battery I must add, compared to the 86% for a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on the S20 Ultra. 89% is still the best on the iPhone, 85 and 85 on the OnePlus and the Oppo respectively. We are now doing Facebook Live TV over here and we're about to head into our two hour time interval. After two hours, you can see that the Sony Xperia and the Oppo are starting to drain a little bit more than the other devices with 80% and 79% respectively. 83% on the S20, not far behind the 85% on the iPhone. 81% on the OnePlus. Of course, we have that 79% being the lowest on the Oppo via. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is still the hottest across the board in battery and CPU degrees in Celsius. And the coolest CPU here is the Samsung. But remember that Samsung like to limit their Snapdragon variants so that it can match that of the Exynos. So it's not using its full power, meaning CPU temps should be slightly cooler, but Samsung are really known for really cool smartphones when it comes to battery or CPU respectively. That's why it is literally the coolest across all other Android devices here. The iPhone app that I'm using to measure the battery in degrees Celsius isn't the most accurate. We don't have an Antutu option. Well, the iPhone doesn't have a temperature option within the Antutu app like the Android phones do. And after that three hour mark interval, 71% on the Sony, 77 on the Samsung, now 6% higher than that of the Sony, but it does have a thousand more milliamp hours under the hood over there. 78%, very close to call between the iPhone and the Samsung Nvidia, just 1% difference. We have 72% now higher than that of the Sony on the Oppo with 72%, 74% on the OnePlus. We are now currently streaming videos on YouTube or my videos. Make sure you guys go check those out after this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you have yet to do so. After three hours and 31 minutes, 66% on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, 73 on the Samsung, 74 on the iPhone, still 1% difference 
difference between those two. 70% now on the OnePlus 8 Pro and 67% now just 1% difference, 1% better than that of the Sony on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. We're now doing a video loop, a 4K 25 frames per second video loop using the VLC app. And after that four hour mark, we have 61% on the Sony, 70% on the S20, 71% on the iPhone. Once again, only 1% difference between the two over there. The Oppo is doing 2% better than that of the Sony now, 66% on the OnePlus 8 Pro, which is still doing a fantastic job with a 4,510 milliamp hour battery. If you guys forget about the specs, check down below. Remember that the screen sizes as well as the resolutions, we're sticking to the same hertz, but the screen sizes and resolutions do matter when it comes to battery, especially with that mammoth of a screen on the S20. So if you look at 62% as opposed to the iPhone 64% after four hours and 33 minutes, I think the Samsung is actually doing a better job. Yes, it does have a much bigger battery, but it has a much bigger screen as well and a slightly higher resolution of 1440p as opposed to 1242p or LED screen on the iPhone over here. The iPhone is not really full HD plus. It's not really QHD plus, WQHD plus. It's kind of in the middle of the two. The Sony was getting really hot over there after using the camera app. 38% now for the Sony after five hours and two minutes. 52% on the Samsung. 56 now 4% higher than the Samsung is the iPhone. 47% is the OnePlus 8 Pro and 39% just 1% better than the Sony is the Oppo Find X2 Pro. We're running some benchmarks over here guys but remember it's not to just speed up this test it's actually to simulate a heavy game experience such as playing PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile so that we can get a similar drain time there. I cannot play all games at the same time all those heavy hitting games anyway. After 5 hours and 30 minutes we have 27% now on the Sony 29% which is 2% more on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. The leader here is still the iPhone with 46% 2% below that is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with 44% 37% dropping quite quickly now is indeed the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now it does have the second biggest battery over here. It is not doing the second best. Of course, the iPhone is really smashing everyone here with its tiny little battery and incredible battery performance. After six hours, 15% on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, 34% on the S20 Ultra, 37 on the iPhone, now 3% higher than that of the Samsung, 26% on the OnePlus and 17% on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. We're now in a game called flip diving so I'm just letting it run in the background here I'm not actually playing the game but the game does move a little bit so it does indeed drain quite a bit of battery now the hottest battery in degree Celsius here is the Xperia 1 Mark II and it is also the lowest with 8% 10% on the Oppo Find X2 Pro 19% not far behind that on the OnePlus 8 Pro it does have a bigger battery than those two that I just mentioned 29% on the Samsung and 30% on the iPhone just 1% between those two devices currently in subway surfers over here just doing a little gaming test to see which one can last the seven hour mark here. I already regard six hours as incredible battery life. Six hours and 55 minutes, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II with that fabulous 4K 60 Hertz OLED panel knocks out with 0.24% per minute and 9.6 milliamp hours per minute as well. We currently have 25% on the Samsung, 25% on the iPhone. Now for the first time are completely level, 13% on the OnePlus and 4% on the Oppo Find X2 Pro, which is no doubt soon to be the next to knock out when you look at these numbers over here. Cooler CPU is indeed the Samsung still with the hottest battery being that of the OnePlus 8 Pro. Seven hours and 11 minutes later, the Oppo Find X2 Pro knocks out with a better percentage per minute compared to the Sony with 0.23% per minute, but actually worse milliamp hours per minute with 9.9 .9 milliamp hours because it does have a slightly bigger battery and it didn't last much longer. Actually just 16 minutes to be precise. 1% left on the OnePlus 8 Pro after 7 hours and 30 minutes, 20% on the iPhone and 18% on the S20 Ultra. The iPhone is now trading blows, more blows than the S20 Ultra with 2% more. After 7 hours and 34 minutes over here, 7 hours and 35 minutes I must add, the OnePlus 8 Pro knocks out with 0.22% per minute, the best of the lot that have died so far, but not the best milliamp hours per minute that still gets awarded to the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. Yes, it didn't last as long as the other two devices that did knock out a little bit later but because of its smaller battery it has a higher well actually a lower milliamp hours per minute drain after eight hours now 12 percent on the samsung 15 percent on the iphone 11 pro max over here current app is spotify and we are using screen recording we're going to move over to shazam and we're going to continue using screen recording on both phones when i initially did this at the start of the test i also use screen recording across all the phones on the desk at the current moment five percent now after the eight hours and 30 minute
minute mark on the S20 Ultra, as opposed to 10% double that on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. As I said earlier, it takes a while to drain the first bit on the iPhone, it does also take a while to drain the last bit too and after 8 hours and 34 minutes the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with the biggest battery of the lot dies coming in second place with 8 hours and 34 minutes 0.19% per minute but it doesn't once again have the best milliamp hour drain per minute that is still awarded to the Sony with 9.6 milliamp hours per minute as opposed to the 9.7 on the Samsung. 3% left after the 9 hour mark the best phone that I have had on my battery test has indeed been the K30 Pro Zoom Edition with nine and a half hours. Can the iPhone beat it? We're doing it in a 2 run now and no, it clocks out after just nine hours and six minutes. Still absolutely incredible screen on time coming from the iPhone over here with an incredible display, 0.18% per minute and 7.3 milliamp hours per minute now doing better than that of the Xperia. Of course, it has an even smaller battery. Fifth place here, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, six hours and 55 minutes almost seven hours i'm sure you could squeeze that seven hours if you dropped the display brightness a little bit fantastic screen on time there even better screen on time but obviously a slightly bigger battery fourth place the oppo find x2 pro with seven hours and 11 minutes third place here is indeed the oneplus 8 pro with seven hours and 35 minutes still fantastic time not the absolute best that i have seen from oneplus before but it still did an absolutely incredible job second place the samsung galaxy s20 ultra it's really hard to be the screen on time of this beastly device when it comes to Android devices. Eight hours and 34 minutes, very incredible work Samsung. But of course, first place gets awarded to the iPhone 11 Pro Max with over nine hours of screen on time and indeed the smallest battery, fantastic battery life. Now, of course we know the final results over here, but if you wanna see what they would be like if they all had the exact same milliamp hour capacity battery, the iPhone would remain first, but jump up to 10 hours and 19 minutes. Second place would then be awarded to the Sony over there, very impressive, seven hours and 47 minutes. Third, the Samsung would drop down to third place from second, seven hours and 43 minutes. Remember, it has a bigger battery than 4,500 milliamp hours, so it is kind of expected. The OnePlus doesn't really change much. It goes to fourth with seven hours and 35 minutes, pretty much stays the same, just a 10 milliamp hour difference over there. And the Oppo jumps up to the same of that as the OnePlus 8 Pro with seven hours and 35 minutes as well, tying it over there. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic, and I'll see you in the next one.